What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another video here on the East Village Times channel. I'm your host Deegs and today on the second episode of a season in review we'll be taking a look at Hunter Renfro's 2017 season looking at some positives negatives and then giving you guys an outlook for what I think his future is with the San Diego Padres. Now some positives from Renfro's 2017 season obviously the first thing they'll send out to you is his power. He had 26 home runs in his first season, 25 doubles, a 467 slugging percentage. It's pretty obvious that Hunter Renfro has a ton of power. He's very strong. Upper body and lower body are both very, very strong. His swing naturally generates a lot of power. He's got that long power hitting swing. It gets good extension. That's what allows him to really hit a ton of home runs. It's very loopy, kind of high angle. That's what allows him to really drive the ball and get under it and hit that ball out of the ballpark. To me, he's your prototypical power hitting outfielder. Big frame, big arm, sits in right field and hits a bunch of home runs. I saw him hit a few home runs to the top of the Metal Supply Company building in Petco Park, and I was absolutely amazed. No one's ever hit the ball up there and before Renfro, and he's done it multiple times. And to me, I could legitimately see this guy being a 30-plus home run a year type of player. Now, another positive for Hunter Renfro, obviously, is his arm. This dude is probably one of the most electric arms right now in all of baseball, and I'm not even exaggerating. It's an absolute cannon. His extremely strong lower half allows him to generate such high mile per hour on his throws from right field, and he can make any throw on the diamond, whether it be from right field to third base or right field to home, very easily. And to me, he's a legitimate outfield threat with his arm that will kind of hold some runners, maybe going from second to third with uh, on a tag up or on doubles or trying to extend singles to doubles or even tagging up from third to home. And that is a reason why I think Hunter Renfro's arm was a positive last year. But if we're being honest here, the positives do out uh, do not outweigh the negatives, and he did struggle a lot with some things in his rookie season. So the biggest thing with me is the same thing with Will Myers, is his consistency, his play discipline, and his approach. He swings at so many pitches that he can't do anything with. He struck out 140 times compared to 30 walks and 445 at-bats in his rookie year, which, to be blatantly honest with you, is awful. Not consistent offensively whatsoever. He batted 231 in 2017, and he does not use the entire field. He's very pull-happy, and sometimes it feels like he only wants to hit as many home runs as possible. We see this in a lot, a lot of young guys when they try to showcase their power. They kind of pull the ball uh, because they know that that's how they're going to be able to unleash all their power, and they don't use um, kind of that middle-of-the-way approach that we see the really successful hitters in the game use. He has all the potential in the world to be a home run monster, but will not have any any true success at the major league level without fixing his plate discipline, getting on base more, putting himself in position to score runs so the Padres actually benefit more, and being able to hit with consistency, a lack of anything, and in any improvement in consistency, plate discipline, and his approach will probably lead to his playing time being reduced because the team wants to develop young talent, but they also want to win games. And if you can't get on base and put yourself in a spot to score, the team is not going to be able to have success, and they'll just find someone else to play for you. Now, defensively speaking, like I said earlier, has a phenomenal arm, truly could be one of the best arms in baseball, definitely one of the best young arms in baseball. But right now, overall, other than his arm, he is a very poor defensive outfielder. Does not read the ball come, uh, balls well coming off the bat. He does not get good first jumps despite being a pretty good athlete. The right angle sometimes does not take him. We see him miss balls, not get to the balls quick enough. And to be honest, sometimes he just looks lost in the outfield completely. We saw him miss several cutoff throws in 2017 that led to unnecessary bases being taken by the other team and, to act, and sometimes actually led to more runs being scored, which would lead to Padres' losses. And just blatantly speaking, well, he was a liability in the outfield sometimes defensively. And I could really see him, if he does not improve his defense, have some time cut overall from his playing time in 2018. So those are the negatives. Let's take a look at the outlook. Right now, I think the Padres will give Hunter Renfro all the opportunity in the world to prove himself as a right fielder of the future. However, when they send him down in 2017, it sends a message to him and to all of us that he will not be guaranteed any at-bats if he is not performing. To me, he's an extremely talented prospect that I can being that I can see being a legitimate 30 home run threat each year. But his play discipline does concern me. We saw him coming out of Mississippi State. I was really happy when the Padres drafted him because of how good of an overall prospect he was, and the power actually obviously stands out. Improving his play discipline, biggest thing for him, could make him an absolute stud, and I think that he has the talent to improve this. He's not one of those guys that it's just going to be impossible for him to fix his mental game and his approach. But I think it will be hard to break some habits that have been accumulated over time, which is natural because, you know, some people, when you do something over and over and over again, it's really hard to break it. But it takes only the best of the best to break things that you've been doing for a really long time. At his absolute best, I would expect Renfro to be a 260 hitter, but his power and that bat, that thirst for having a power hitting bat 
in the lineup could keep him there for the future. Defensively, I do think he should get better in 2018. Uh, I think he'll learn how to harness his arm. He'll learn from his mistakes that he didn't that he had in 2017 when overthrowing the cutoff guy. Sometimes not hitting the cutoff guy. Sometimes making throws he shouldn't have made. And I think with better coaching, he could be a better overall defensive outfielder. And the Padres know this. They know that Renfro has all the talent in the world to be a good two-way player. They'll work with him, and they'll and I think that work should help him become a better defensive outfielder. However, I do think Renfro will have some competition with Franchi Cordero, Alex Dickerson, Jose Prella, and Travis Jankowski, both right now potentially being better defensive outfielders than him. Maybe not Dickerson coming off uh, a back injury, but I think Franchi Cordero and Jankowski and Perella are all better defensive outfielders than him. As of now, I would expect him to be the starting right fielder for the Padres come opening day, and if he can fix this whole point dis- discipline issue, the starting right fielder of the future. Hunter Renfro is very talented and has all the potential in the world to be a stud hitter. He just needs to tweak some things. And if he can do that and he has the talent to do that, it's very simple. The Padres want him to be the right fielder of the future and they will give him every chance to be that. Now, I have heard some things possibly thrown around that if he doesn't really pan out or they feel more comfortable with Cordero or someone else in the future, that they will look to trade Hunter Renfro, and I think that could be kind of intriguing because with the raw power that he has, some teams could view him as kind of a raw prospect, but with that power, they would be potentially willing to give some stuff away, and I think that you could package Hunter Renfro and some other prospects in a deal to go out and get someone. So I would expect the Padres to lean with Hunter Renfro for now and potentially in the future if he can figure it out, but there's a chance that he gets traded. Just put it this way. If he can figure this game out and he can figure his problems out and really adapt to the major league level and start hitting like we know he can hit there's no way in hell that they'll trade him but if he is kind of hitting on and off and it's kind of at an all-time high i think the Padres, if they don't project him to say like that they will look to move him and try and acquire some pieces so that's all i have for you guys today thanks again for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you drop a like and subscribe so you never have to miss another episode uh, we're going to try and kind of build this youtube thing more and more every single day put some content out as often as we possibly can make sure you check out our website also www.eastvillagetimes.com the link will be in the description we cover all things san diego sports at a very high level and have a lot of quality articles that you should really um, look at if you are interested in the pod race or any other san diego sports team thanks again for watching and have a good one